Hey guys, Carl here from ElitePromoter.com and I just wanted to share one of the videos from our forum um, which is in our e-commerce section because I think this will help a few guys out, especially anybody that's, that's just starting out with Shopify and, and, and they're not really sure how to set it up. So in this video, Freddie, our e-commerce expert, is actually going to go over the kind of tips and tricks that you need to use to get your Shopify store working properly and easy to navigate and the plugins that you need to make things convert much, much better than, than straight out of the box, basically. So a few guys have been asking me recently, you know, how do I get started with e-commerce? You know, do I use AliExpress or do I stop the product myself? So I'll just answer that question quickly before we go into the training. AliExpress and Shopify is a good kind of springboard, a good way to just at least test the market. And if you see any potential there, then you could consider... Um, single product funnels with upsells um, definitely consider stocking yourself or using fulfillment centers but yeah start with Shopify and AliExpress just to just to look for that potential so if you enjoy this video by the way this is this is video one we've got we've, there's two more videos that Freddie's done on the drop shipping model so if you enjoy this you might want to check out Elite Promoter and um, and go through those but I'm hoping this is still going to be of, of some value to, to people out there so without further ado let me introduce Freddie and she's going to go through Shopify thanks guys for listening and I hope you enjoy the video all right this is part two now a lot of the stuff in here is going to be really obvious so a lot of this stuff on the navigation menu I'm not going to go through because when you get in here yourself so when you register for a Shopify account which has a 15 day free trial by the way so you can actually spend those 15 days getting everything set up and you click around these links it's going to be really obvious so I don't need to cover uh, these really obvious things but I am going to show you the apps that are being used on this store and first of all though just a couple of basics the theme here is minimal I mentioned this already now to change the theme because I think there's some kind of default theme already uploaded and it won't be this one but to change the theme you just click to visit the theme store now there used to be when I first started using Shopify there were about 150 themes and at least half of those were free we're down to a handful of themes now for one reason or another and as far as free themes are concerned there are at the moment there are nine but the best ones are minimal which is this one supply or Brooklyn now, some of the other free ones are just not very good at all but minimal supply or Brooklyn they are the three good ones and to get your layout right and your colors and that kind of thing you just click on customize theme now one of the main differences between the free themes and the paid themes, which are, they range from like $140 up to about $180. The, one of the big differences is that the free themes they have, they don't have a lot of customization options, whereas the paid themes, you've got a lot more customization options. Saying that, there are a lot of successful Shopify stores that are using Supply or Brooklyn or this one here, Minimal, one of the free themes, and they haven't even done any customization in the coding. They've only done some basic stuff here uh, in the settings here. So you can change the colors or the typography, that kind of thing. So that's your basic settings there, not really much to choose from. You can only decide whether we're going to have the wide layout or not. That's about it as far as layout's concerned. So really basic customization options in the free themes. Now for the sections, this is where you add your collections to the home page, and you can add other sections here. You can add featured collections. That's a featured collection there, new arrivals. So all this is kind of really obvious stuff. That's the footer there where you can add your pages, your legal pages. You can add your social icons. If you want to remove one of these sections, you can just go ahead and delete it or leave it, whatever you want to do. I've left that there, the newsletter sign up section, only because I don't want to have a blank space there, that's all. And here's where you can enter your social links, Facebook, 
Twitter, that kind of thing. All right, let's go and take a look at the apps that I'm using on this store. And the first one is the Facebook chat app. Now, this is the one we looked at down here, in the bottom right hand corner. That's a free app, the free trust badge. That was this one here, right here. And this is where it goes by default. You can place it somewhere else if you want to. You've got to go into the actual coding of the theme to do that. But it sits quite nicely there and you can edit the colors. So I've got it a kind of very pale gray, but you can have it uh, different colors if you want to. So you can add other badges as well or remove badges if you want to. Add badge. You can click on one of these here to add or you can remove any badges. So in fact, you could just set it up the way you want it to be. And here you can change your colors and your sizes and that sort of thing. So that's a, a really easy app to use. The Help Center app. This is this page here where you can set up your frequently asked questions and also a contact box for your customers or your potential customers to contact you if they can't find the answer in the FAQs. And again, that is really easy to set up. You just add your sections here and your questions and your answers right here. I'll come back to these here in a moment, but let me show you this one first. Now this is what you see down here popping up. Now what this does is you can either have live sales. Now this is not a live shop, so clearly there are no sales going on, but I still got the pop-ups coming up. So there's two things you can do with this pop-up. The first thing you can do is you can have it popping up every time there is a real live sale. That's fine once your store gets busy, but if you're just starting out, if your store is brand new, you're not getting sales or you're only getting a trickle of sales, it's not going to be very effective. So the second thing you can do is that you can set up these notifications manually to give the impression that your store is really busy. So this is a really good little app to use both for the beginning when your store is not getting much activity and then later on when your store is getting a lot of activity. Now, the only difference is that when you set it up manually, so in other words, these are not real sales that are coming through. When you set it up like that, it's not showing a name. It's just a customer purchased. So here in the settings, the default message was a customer in, and I just changed that to make it a little bit more personal I pimp my bling customer in. So I just changed it a little bit, which does look better. Now, if you add these variables here like name, they won't work unless it's a real sale because there's clearly there's no name to insert, but they will work when real sales start coming through. So that's the settings. Oh, and you can choose whether to have light color or dark color. I think dark color pop up is a little bit too intrusive the light color is still catches the eye. So I think that's better, but that is up to you. And on the notifications part of this app, this is where you're going to set up the actual notifications that are coming through for to give the impression your store is busy. You don't need to set this up when your store is actually busy because they will be real notifications coming through. But to add some manual notifications, just click add customer notification and choose a product. You can enter a keyword here just to look for something. Choose a product, enter the customer location. So here you're going to enter just either just a country or city and country and then click create new. And according to what you put in the settings here, this is going to also uh, determine how the spacing between the notifications. So I have it set up so that it takes three seconds. So when a visitor arrives on the site, it takes three seconds before the first notification pops up An interval between, in fact, this can't be changed. It's 10 seconds and that's it. You can change where it actually displays. You can switch it off on mobile if you want to. Uh, you can switch off display 
notifications in random order, but I've left that on. And you can also switch off randomize notifications. And in fact, when you switch off randomize interval time, that's where you can change the interval time. But I've left it at randomize interval time because that's, I think that's a bit more realistic because if sales were coming through for real, they would be coming through at a random time intervals. All right, so that's sales pop, and that's how easy it is to set it up. And again, that's a free one. And to get these apps, you just click visit Shopify App Store. Just type the name of the app into the search bar. For example, and there's the Facebook chat app there. You simply click on it and click get, and because it's a free app, um, there's no nothing to pay. Now let's take a look at this one here, Privy. This is excellent. I haven't really done much to set this up, but this app, in fact, you should probably take a look at it in the App Store. I need to update it. Here it is right here. And you'll be able to click on the screenshots to see the different things you can do. So you can have pop-ups coming up, overlay flyouts, banners, bars, embeds. You can pretty much do anything with it. And you can really customize the opt-in forms. You can offer coupon codes, 15% off, 10% off, new customer coupon codes, anything you want. You can do all that with this and it is completely free. So this is the free option here, always free. You get to send up to 3,000 emails a month. Now, when you get to the stage where you are sending more than that, then you can upgrade. And when you get to that stage, then you can afford to upgrade anyway. It doesn't really matter. Now, this app here, for me, the jury's out on this app. I'm not 100% sure about it. Now, this is the only paid app that I've got here on this store and it is $6.99 a month. It has a two day free trial, so you can play about with it for a couple of days. What this does is it places a, an urgency timer on the product pages themselves, but you can choose which product pages it goes on. Now, I would recommend that if you use this, you don't use it on every single product page. There is a way to add it to every product page, but it's going to look strange if you've got this on say every product page and you've got customers clicking around looking at different products and they all say only three left in stock doesn't look right so i recommend if you use this that you use it selectively so you choose a few products perhaps a product that you are focusing on advertising so something that you are advertising on facebook and you want to add some urgency to that specific product that's what I recommend you do, but it's, it is very, very easy to use. You can set the look of it here and the settings. You have four options and option four is the option I was just talking about, scarcity left in stock. So only X number left in stock. And how you do this is when you go to activate timer, it tells you that you need to do this on the individual products. And I'll show you, it's very easy. So on the product page, under more options, manage countdown timer. So here, what I've done is I'm displaying the progress bar, but I'm not displaying the timer bar. Let's check this out. There we are, only nine left in stock. And what will happen is every, however long I've set it for, I can't remember, I think it's five minutes, it's gonna go down by one. And this should be saved in the user's cookies so that when they come back, it doesn't do the same thing all over again. But as I say, if you just bulk add this to every product, it's going to show exactly the same on every product. So if I have it set at nine left in stock, it's going to show a nine left in stock on every single product, which is obviously doesn't look believable. Now you see that started to go down, only eight left in stock. So what I recommend you do again is you do this individually to individual products 
and you set it, maybe you could have one set at only 15 left in stock, you could have another set at five left in stock, and then you could have products that don't have this on at all, so that it actually looks natural and real. There's also the option to add the timer as well. So we've got this timer below here, and I have seen stores using the timer as well, but uh, it doesn't really uh, make a lot of sense unless you are running an offer. So if you were using the timer, you would want to be running some kind of offer so that that offer was expiring at when the timer ran down to zero. Okay, so that is the countdown timer. Now the other one that we're going to look at, we're going to look at this one in more detail is Oberlo. This is an amazing app. It's completely free. And this is in fact how you import all your products from AliExpress, how you edit them, how you edit the descriptions, and also you even how you choose them in the first place, right? So it automates a lot of the, the what we need to do if we're using AliExpress for drop shipping. So let's do that in a separate video. So I hope you found this training useful. Big thanks to Freddie for making this for us. And if you want to see the other videos, then come and check us out at Elite Promoter. I'll leave a link in the description. We've got a really great e-commerce section and Facebook ad section to really help you see profit much more quickly than trying to figure this out on your own. And at the very least, subscribe for future videos. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon.